Okay, I'm cleaning the lens here. Yeah, that's better. All right, so I've got a hitch plate here. Just have it leaning up against there. I've uh, gone ahead and marked the areas where I have to cut it out so it can slide in. I'm going to uh, I'm going to end. I'm going to set it in from the edge of the frame at about a quarter of an inch. That way, I can put a nice steady bead around it. Okay, so here we are. I've got the D rings laid out where I want them. That's going to be for the trailer plug. I don't know if you can see because of the light, but uh, these are the holes for the uh, panel hitch. And I kind of cheated a little bit. I didn't actually measure those. Um, I just had one of these that my panel hitch was mounted to on the old dump truck. So I just laid it up there, centered it, and drew the circles and then center punched in the uh, I'm going to cut off these corners. We're going to make our notch. I'm going to knock just a little bit off of these corners here. And then we'll start cutting this hole. I don't know if the camera cut off or if I just didn't ever turn it onto the record mode, but I heard it go beep, 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 beep. And I looked up and it was off. So. The battery's at 81%, so I feel like I may have cheated you out of uh, cutting these corners off. I use this piece of metal as a straight edge. So next, I'm gonna cut these notches out. Which I need to measure those. It's like two inches. I come in two inches and uh, make a cut. All right, so we've got two inches there. We've got two inches there. So here we go.
Okay, so here I've soldered a wire together on this pigtail it's for this tail light. Got my heat shrink up here. I always put the heat shrink on the wires before I do anything, before I strip the wires, anything. And then I put a little kink in the wire to keep it from falling down and getting in the way. If I can do that, I, I like to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and slide this down, but before I do, I like to go around with some needle nose pliers or some just standard pliers and look for any little pieces of wire or solder that might be poking up and just kind of smash them flat. Uh, that way I don't have anything sharp that can penetrate this heat shrink tube. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab the torch. I got it set on low. So I don't scorch the heat shrink. And this is a really nice heat shrink. It has the glue inside. So when you heat it up, it melts the glue and completely seals it. And you can see on the ends when I get finished, I'll show you the glue that comes out on the ends. If you, I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll kind of move it around in the light so maybe you can see it's real glossy around the end there. Alright, so I like this stuff. The CL Flux. This is, uh, it's a clear liquid flux it's not a brushed on paste but basically you just take it and you put a couple of drops on here you don't have to saturate it like i just did so once you put a little heat on it it draws it into all the little nooks and crannies of the, the joint there so we're going to take the mini torch and turn this thing on turn it off for a minute. I'm going to take this uh, torch and I'm going to heat the joint up. And you'll hear, you'll start hearing it snap and crackle. Once that stops, now you know it's hot enough. And then on this side, flick it, get any extra stuff off. Then check your weld to make sure that you have solder all the way around. And, and we do. It's, it's not going to come apart. But a good thing to know is when you freshly solder a joint, even though it looks like the solder has solidified, don't pull on it because it hasn't bonded yet to uh, the parent metal that you're trying to join together. Now this is cool enough to where I can, you know, touch it without burning myself and I know that it's, it's bonded. And as you can see, once again, you can actually see, probably see a little better on this one that the glue has come out the end. I don't know if you can see it or not. And so I know that this, this connection is 100% sealed. It's, it's not going to be exposed to the elements at all. Okay, so this wire, this green wire, goes to the backup light. And then this is the ground for the tail light. And the, uh, since the backup light is, is, a, is a metal housing, it's already it's grounded through its own body. Uh, but this tail light is not. So when I plug that in, I'm going to have to ground this. And I'm going to ground it to this bolt here. There we are. All plugged in. And that's it. 
so I, I could move around the other side and show you the other, doing it again on the other side but I, I think you got the gist of it and that's that's pretty much it to wiring up the tail light on this thing um, we'll come back when we're on the next step thanks for watching Thank you.